this is the complete review of the Bayako Sports Boxing Gloves. Um, in this review, I'm going to be breaking down uh, the pros and the cons of these gloves and also if they're worth getting or not. So these are what the boxing gloves will arrive in. Uh, you have your own uh, bag uh, that you can carry them in, which is very useful. Um, so let's unbox it in three, two, one. So let's start by looking at the pros of these boxing gloves. What is it, what is good about these pair of boxing gloves? Um, well, first of all, the exterior uh, genuine cowhide leather that they use is absolutely awesome. Um, doesn't bunch up and it um, it smells great. I love that new smell of, of, a, of a new pair of boxing gloves, especially a leather one. And, uh, and the great thing about cowhide leather is that uh, it's a material which is extremely durable um, and that would mean that you can use this boxing glove for a very long period of time and not worry about the very much common uh, issue of of, of, a, of a boxing glove like ripping or tearing. Another benefit is that there is an attached thumb um, over here. Um, that's important because you know, if you think when you're uh, when you're throwing a punch, you don't want your thumb to be loose because then that could you know, easily um, become broken. Another benefit is how good the stitching is on this glove. I can't spot a single um, sort of flaky stitch which is coming loose or um, you know an uneven stitch uh on these gloves and um yeah it's just just shows a testament of testament of the quality um and uh yeah i think that's a, a big benefit because obviously you'd want a uh, very well um uh, you know handcrafted uh, well stitched glove um so that it could last a long period of time because if there's any sort of stitching that you can see on a new pair of boxing gloves that you get um that can easily you know come uh will be made worse when you when you hit the heavy bag frequently or um, when you um, use them frequently um, and that's why you can see gloves deteriorate really quite quickly. I quite like the styling of this glove as well I think that's a great advantage because um, I mean they've just used three color combinations here so it's nice and simple and nice and clean blue black and white um, uh, the logo looks great on the side there um, it's clearly demonstrates that it's 12 ounces there um, uh, the cowhide leather just looks very neat and very clean. Um, as I said before, it doesn't bunch, so that's that's a good benefit. In terms of the padding, they use a medium density um, foam padding, um, and uh, uh, yeah, they use multiple layers of, of foam padding there, uh, so that you know when you're hitting the whatever you're hitting with them, uh, you'll have you know an ample amount of protection, and it will feel quite comfortable when you. Um, uh, when you strike something uh, such as an opponent or a heavy bag. Furthermore, you've also got really great um, foam padding all the way you know, through the palm side of the glove uh, down to the wrist as well. Um, and the reason why that's great is because you know when you're blocking shots and you're parrying shots, there's a lot of force coming your way. So having that added protection is really uh, invaluable and um, uh, Bayako have done a, a great job of, um, you know, incorporating that into their uh, their glove. Moving on now to how it actually feels. Um, it feels great. Um, uh, I can easily form a fist, which is great, and that's uh, due to the solid grip of that grip bar. Uh, it's about a, you know, an inch uh, in in thickness there, so it makes it much easier to form a fist, which is what you want when um, when when boxing. Um, just overall, it feels feels quite comfortable. Um, it's not the most comfortable pair of boxing gloves that I've put on. Like, uh, High Booster T3s were a really great fit for me, um, but uh, they are, you know, they're still comfortable. Um, there's a tremendous amount of padding. The inner liner uh, is a tricot uh, inner liner, and uh, so yeah, just makes, makes it feel um, very comfortable. In terms of the wrist support, there's a really thick um, uh, and grippy uh, Velcro wrist strap here and um, you can tighten it to however tight you want it to be um, but my wrist can't really move in this and it's uh, yeah for me it's very tight and yeah these are a lot better than the Venom Elites uh, which, which I reviewed before uh, in terms of you know its ability to uh, keep your wrist stable uh, I thought uh, Bayer could do a much better job of 
of that um, with these gloves. So now let's look at the disadvantages of the Bayako boxing gloves. Number one, uh, there's a limited number of color options. So in fact, the only color option that you have is this one here, which is in the white, blue, and the black. Uh, the reason for this is because Bayako Sports are you know a new company, and this is their first pair of boxing gloves, and you know good on them uh, for creating such a um, a great first pair um, but uh, yeah be good to see more color options in the future second disadvantage the size of this glove um, it ranges from 10 ounce um, to 16 ounce so you have 10 ounce 12 ounce 14 ounce 16 ounce uh, but it'd be good also to see an 8 ounce and a 4 ounce which or a 6 ounce which I haven't got um, but uh, yeah I think 10 to 16 is a, is a good start Third disadvantage is the number of perforated holes on the palm side of the glove. So just on the thumb, we've got two, perfor two perforated holes there. And, um, you know, on the uh, next to the grip bar, we've got about uh, three perforated holes there as well. Is to have more perforated holes because, uh, you know, they've only got four um, uh, next to the grip bar there and you've only got two um, on the thumb. Um, that's uh, quite an insignificant amount in comparison to other boxing gloves that I've tested before, such as the Hayabusa T3s, which have about 48 perforated holes per glove. Um, and the benefits of a perforated hole um, is ventilation. So um, when you sort of try to surface, um, uh, the hot air will sort of leave the glove and uh, cool air can enter it and it, so that it's well ventilated. And um, for the Bioco, these will heat up pretty quickly. Uh, due to the fact that they uh, lack those perforated holes. Um, so um, yeah, when creating these gloves again in the future, um, it would be good, good to see more perforated holes uh, incorporated. So overall, are the Bioco boxing gloves worth it? I would say so. I'd rate these boxing gloves a 7.5 out of 10. Um, the reason why is because uh, they've got, they're using great high quality materials. The foot and padding is excellent. There's an attached thumb. You've got strong wrist support uh, with a, um, you know, a, a stable and um, strong wrist strap. Uh, the stitching is flawless, and you know, it looks looks like a good pair of boxing gloves. Um, I like the design, um, and yeah, the only improvements that they could have made uh, would be more design options, more size options, and most importantly, more perforated holes on the boxing glove. I hope you've enjoyed this re review of the uh, Bayako Sports Boxing Gloves. Um, I'll put a link in the description below where you can uh, check uh, those out. There's a link to Amazon and also to their website. Please like, subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. Um, feel free to send me your boxing gloves. I'd uh, love to review them. Yeah, have a great day.